Because we're talking about the heat. Yeah, you know, we're climbing, climbing, climbing with a heat warning Sunday into Wednesday. The heat is on and it's only getting hotter. We are expecting temperatures to reach over 100 degrees. The states are scorching. I didn't realize today was going to be so hot. Here's how to keep that heat out of your home without your energy bills causing a cold sweat. This may sound like a no-brainer, but begin the big chill with your AC. I think our best month was $146 off of the previous year. Glenn Little is saving all that money by supercooling his home. He's on a time advantage power plan, so he cranks the temps way down at night when rates are low, then raises the setting during the day when rates go up. Every once in a while it gets a little nippy, but uh, I'll take that over the savings any day. And don't worry, your air conditioner's cool. Using the air conditioner the hardest during the cooler parts of the day so it's easier for it to cool the house. If the thought of cranking down your thermostat gives you chills, Lowe's assistant manager Mark Goodman has some other tricks. So Mark, we're into the hottest part of the summer. What can I do to stay cool other than cranking up my AC? Yeah, that's an idea, but that's pretty expensive. Yeah. I got some other ideas here for you. Like using your ceiling fan the right way. Ceiling fans can be used all year round. Mm. During the summer months, you want it to go counterclockwise. It actually makes the room feel about eight degrees cooler on their skin. So I don't have to set my thermostat so low, save some energy bill? Right, exactly. Okay, and what if I have all digital clocks and I don't know clockwise? Stare at the fan. If you can feel it, you got it going. Next, redecorate for the season. Change out rugs with thick heat trapping pile for ones made of sisal or seagrass. And sofas upholstered in leather or heavy fabrics such as velvet can make you sweat. Cool them off with linen or cotton slip covers. Last up, make a few simple changes. So we're talking about staying cool, and you have me in the light bulb aisle. What gives? Right. Well, a lot of people have these incandescent light bulbs yeah. in their homes as it is. Well, these do actually generate a lot of heat. So switch to LED bulbs. Plus, it's 75% less on energy. And LEDs last longer than regular bulbs. All right, so we talked about incandescent light, but that's not the only kind of light we're fighting. No, absolutely not. There's also your sun coming in through the windows, and that's why we're here with all these uh, window films. Okay. Uh, these will help prevent 70% uh, of the heat coming in through the windows, and it's really easy to, to install these. It's kind of like your car window, kind of tinted, but it also helps with the UV, where it reduces the amount of fading on your carpet and furniture. That's not the only protection for your windows. We have these cellular blinds. These will help you protect anywhere between 40 to 60 percent of the heat that's coming through the windows. Beating the heat. You said something. I'm just playing with this thing. <laughs> is on the top of the list. 